Thank you. Good evening. I'm uh, Sudhir Mehta, Chairman of uh, Eka Mobility and Pinnacle Industries. Uh, very old hand at the auto industry compared to all the young people here. I've been in the industry for 25 years. Uh, we started Eka Mobility with uh, the very clear idea that uh, India is going to become the largest uh, EV market outside of China in the next 10 years. We are at the cusp of a complete uh, revolution as far as uh, EVs and hydrogen vehicles are concerned and uh, we are focused on uh, electric buses and uh, electric LCVs. Our uh, engineering center is uh, five meters away from here. Uh, the next office, Punch Hill Tech Park, uh, we have a broad team of about 300 people out of which 200 have been focused on uh, electric vehicle mobility. Our first product is a nine meter city bus which just got uh, homologation a week ago. And uh, we will come with a range of uh, light commercial vehicles in the coming months. We also uh, support an incubator here in Pune, which works with more than about 40 EV startups. And uh, we are, uh, I think Pune will be again one of the main centers for the EV activity around the world. Thank you. So, Dave, so I want to come to you for this follow-up question. You were saying, you know, you have... Uh, almost two to three decades of experience here in this space and my question is just going back to the theme that we're discussing today which is the future of India's green startups and how this this EV movement can be given more views and my question to you is yes there's a lot of work that's happening as far as the action in the EV space is open to the rest of our panelists but first I want you to respond to this offline we were discussing some of the numbers and India has a very long way to go and it comes to the mix between EV and the IC engines. What can give wheels to this movement in your opinion? So very simple, uh, what is giving wheels to this movement is uh, fuel prices. Um, essentially uh, there is two aspects always to electric vehicles. One is the sustainability aspect which is extremely important. But ultimately what sells is does it make commercial sense or not. Customers in India are very very smart and ultimately when any product makes commercial sense, it starts to happen. What's now happened is that inflection point actually has come much sooner than many of us anticipated. Uh, if you look at any industry figures, the idea was, of course, there is a very clear statement right from the Prime Minister downwards that we need to move towards electric mobility. But the inflection point which has now happened in the last one, one and a half years is really the fuel prices. And ultimately, what sells for vehicles is the total cost of ownership, the TCO, the only, only thing that matters. And for TCO, specifically for commercial vehicles, the TCO has now become positive for electric vehicles, which is why the adaptation will happen. On passenger cars, if you see the world over, the adaptation was very low initially. They were the people who were concerned about initial brands. Uh, brands like Tesla came in, they came up with very innovative products. But the real adaptation starts to again happen when you start to see the cost of ownership becomes in line with the uh, conventional vehicles. So which is why, uh, as I said, I'm kind of going out on a limb and saying it very clearly, but I, I stand by the statement that in India, we are going to have the largest EV market outside of China. And that's very simple because we have the largest two-wheeler market in the world. We have one of the largest... Uh, uh, bus markets in the world and now the shift towards public transport is happening. Last mile delivery, we are a half a million market which is going to about 700,000. Three wheelers is a major market. So if you take any of these, given the fact that the adaptation of electric vehicles is going to happen and people who travel more, the more you travel, the better an electric vehicle is. And in India, the vehicles are typically used more than they are in the West. So this is probably the reason I see adaptation happening very fast in India. 